These are two rosy bork parakeets. Aren't they cute? They're so cute. They're just starting to get all their feathers in. They're almost ready to maybe fly next week. And today's video, I just wanted to show you how I care for the parents, like what I feed them in the morning routine and how I take care of the babies. So let's get started. Good morning, Borkies. So it's seven o'clock in the morning and my birds are just gonna be waking up. These are my rosy borks. They have two babies in the nest and they are three weeks old today. So what happens in the morning is I feed them. I leave food in there overnight, of course. They have their, their regular seed. They have their egg food. Rosie right now, the father is feeding the babies. I can see him, it's so cute. And I make them a bowl of fresh greens and some fruit to feed their babies. All right, so I turn the light on so it might get noisy in here because the other birds obviously are gonna wake up. They are covered, but you can see the light and they can hear me. Also what I do is I open the door and I let them have a nice fly. They like to stretch their wings. I let them out separate from my other birds just because they have babies and I don't want other birds going in this cage to see the babies or do anything to the babies. So I let them have their own time. And that is Rosie the father. Hi, sweetheart. They're very tame. Come on, mommy. Come on, Roxy. And Roxy is the mother. Come on, Roxy. There we go. All right, so they'll have their free time, their private time, out to stretch their wings because they have been in the cage a lot with their babies, especially when they were sitting on eggs. The mother never came out at all. She just came out to, you know, use the washroom and get fed by the father. So she, she is happy now. She can stretch her wings and she, they only stay out for a few minutes and they go back in because they want to be with their babies. So my rosy borks are hand tamed and they make very good parents. So that's the mother not going far away from the cage. Go out, go on a fly. And the father's up there. And they'll just fly around a few times and then they'll go uh, back in. They uh, will eat and the, um, the father usually feeds the mother and then the mother will go in and feed the babies. And sometimes the father, which is Rosie, he's never been into the box, but he'll sit on the perch by the box and actually reach in and feed the babies. He just recently started doing that. Not when they were small, he's never been in the box. The mother has always been in the box feeding the babies. So the father feeds the mother and the mother feeds the babies. All right, so I'll go make them some fresh food right now and put it in their cage and I'm sure they're gonna eat it and go feed their babies. All right, so the parents have gone back into their cage and you can see the mother there um, eating the cuddle bone, which is excellent, that's for calcium. There's Rosie, she sees the bowl of uh, fresh food I have. So I wanna show you what I'm gonna give them today. It varies depending on what I have in my fridge. So there's uh, romaine lettuce, there's broccoli, there's carrots, there's some apple, there's blueberries, strawberries, and a few grapes. And I usually give them different stuff each day. They always get some kind of green and um, some kind of fruit. The berries are excellent. Berries are very, very good for them, especially blueberries and strawberries. I give them less, you know, apple because there's a lot of sugar in apple and in the grapes as well, but blueberries and strawberries are really good. So I'm gonna give that to them and let's see if they're gonna eat it. I offer my birds plenty of food, which consists of the fresh food, like such as the greens and carrots and fruits and vegetables. Then they have two different kinds of egg food. One is just a premium egg food that's basically for canaries or budgies or any other bird. And then the other one is insect food which is good for grass keats. There's like uh, mealworms and other kind of bugs in there. It's dried up, but they um, enjoy that. Then they have the seed mixture, which is cockatiel mixture, canary seed. And then I feed them the Golden Fest Australian blend. It's all mixed together. And they also do have the canary the green pellets, which is above. They have two bowls of water. They have millet. And also on top they have 
another bowl of you know canary seed the pellets whatever I offer at the bottom is at the top so they have plenty of food so they never run out because they're constantly eating to feed their babies so after the parents have fed the babies I gave them food I actually check the babies and then I handle them because I want them to be tame I want them to be used to people So I do shut the door so that the parents don't come out and get a little frustrated, but they should be okay. So I'll check the babies. <laughs> They're going to make a lot of noise. Hi guys. And what I do is I check the babies. It's alright to make sure that they're clean. And I handle them every day because I want them to be uh, friendly. I make sure that their feet are clean. And look at that little foot. How cute is that? Yeah, how cute is that? Oh, look at this. Almost fully grown. Look at all the feathers and the pin feathers. So your feet look okay. And your beak's okay, nice and clean. And what I do is I put them in this container here. Just so I take them in the other room and I handle them. I handle them a few minutes longer each day. This is the oldest one. Oh, almost like a full grown bird. Look at you. So cute. Look at the tails. It got green on it. Oh, let me check your little feet. They're so wobbly at this, <laughs> this age. That foot's okay. That foot's nice and clean. Your beak's nice and clean. You look like you've been fed. Hey, sweetheart, so we're going to go take you in the other room and spend some time with you. And then what I do is check the nest box. If it's really dirty, I will change the bedding. And it's not too bad because I just changed it um, the other day. So it's not too bad when it's really cake. I change it about every three or four days. It depends on how much they go to the washroom, of course. But I always make sure the bedding is clean because I don't want them sitting in... Uh, you know, a dirty, a dirty box. It can give them a respiratory problem. So I like to keep them nice and clean. Let's see. Here they are. Two sweet babies. It's okay. I know. Three weeks old. One of them is three weeks old today, and the other one's is two days younger. So I'm, I'm gonna go play with them. All right, so I brought the babies in my kitchen, just on my kitchen table, and I want them to get used to the noises as well, and the lights, my other birds, which they hear all day anyways. So they put their head down because they're a little bit shy, a little bit scared. Aw, sweeties, he's so cute. So I'll, I'll let them sit here, I'll talk to them, you know, pet them, I'll pick them up. <laughs> Look at this one. Is that ever cute? Yes, it is. So cute. Let me just make sure he's in the camera. Yep. This one's gonna have more of a, come here, you stuck to me. More of a dark face, more of a gray face. I think this might be a female. Females tend to have more gray around their face. Hey, let's see the other one. I think, I don't know, we'll see this pink on the head. Guess we'll just wait and see. Ah. This is ever cute. Ever, ever cute. Hold them on my hand. Pet them. Let them look around. Hi. How are you? Hi. And they start getting a little bit more active. See them buffing up their head? Hi. What am I going to name you guys? I don't know what I'm going to name you yet. I want to see if you're boys or girls first. I was thinking of maybe naming one Rainbow and run like Razzie or Rumble or something with an R. But I want to use a name that could be either for a male or a female because I, I wouldn't want to use a female name and then it ends up being a boy. Like my first Bork, his name is Rosie because I thought it was a girl. But Rosie's okay for a boy too. <laughs> it's only a bird. And uh, he's pink so he looked rosy colored. And uh, we'll see. Maybe I'll change from an R. I don't know. 
I just like to keep the theme, you know. Hi, babies. You're so cute. Yes, you are. I just want them to be tame. They back up like that. Just that's their defense mechanism. They're always backing up into a corner. So let's put them down. Oh, now you go forward. Oh, you silly, silly goose. Look at the tail. It's green. So that's what I'll do every day. I do this a couple times a day. I do it in the morning especially. Um, sometimes in the middle of the day if I got time, if I'm not busy working. Or I'll do it after work and before they go to bed. I pick them up every day. I talk to them. I pet them. I um, change their nest box. I keep that clean. And um, just, just to get them used to people because if you didn't do anything, they'd be very, very skittish. And they wouldn't be very tame at all. And they're almost fully feathered actually. Ah, what are you doing? And hopefully they'll stop, you know, they'll start stepping up when they're a little bit older, maybe in a week or so. And I can tame them that way. And once the parents stop feeding them, I can certainly handle them a lot longer. Because I don't like to keep them away from the parents too long because I don't want them to, you know, maybe forget about them or start laying other eggs because they're gone. So I really want the parents to keep feeding them because I really don't have, you know, all day to, to feed them. If I had to, I would. But um, they still need to be fed from the parents. Oh, look at this. Ah, oh, love them so much. Let me turn it around and show you. Here. Look at the beak. Look at the beak. <laughs> so I'll do this for like 15 minutes or even longer. <laughs> so I've had them out for like half an hour and I'm gonna be putting them back now they're still a little bit shy this one's more adventurous mm, this one kind of just lays there you wanna go see your parents your mommy so I'm gonna put them back now and I'll repeat the process two more times today there we go babies See, he's starting to move around this one. Or she, I think this one's a girl. I'm not sure. Good girl. You're getting more comfortable, huh? Yeah. Okay, let's go put you back. Here you go, mommy. I'm going to make a noise. Go see them. There we go. So there's the mother checking on the babies to make sure they're okay. Rosie, come to mind. There we go. To make sure they're okay and give them some food. So I hope you like my video. Make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more uh, videos on my borscht and other pet related videos. Thank you very much for watching. Go feed them baby, go feed them. Bye.